recession comes, every year has been my biggest revenue. 2001, biggest revenue spike in my life. 2008, biggest revenue spike in my life. Why? Because recessions happen then and you innovate there. When that recession was happening in 08, I was already in 011. And so you want financial security, you want all that stuff, don't worry about losing your money. Shoe of the day, what do we have here? Oh yes, D. Lillard Boosts Adidas or Adidas. I like Adidas so much, why not Nike? They're comfortable, dude. <laughs> when it comes down to the end of the day, if you're smart, you wear shoes because they protect your feet, give you support. You play basketball, you don't want them too heavy. So some of these shoes look, they got like street cred. People are like, yeah, wear these shoes, like the, some of the LeBrons, but I'm like, you may have street cred, but you don't have basketball cred. Because <laughs> if you wear, uh, if you were, no offense to LeBron, he's a legendary player, but now some of the LeBrons are good, but some of the, Le, like the LeBron soldiers, those are good. The LeBron, what are the ones, what are the ones that Maya calls the alien the shoes? Ninja Turtle shoes. The Ninja Turtle LeBron? You might as well have cannonballs on your feet. He's got <laughs> anvils on his feet. Now LeBron's a big mofo, but if you're not six foot eight, 280 pounds with size 18 feet, you, I wouldn't wear those, but the, the, boost, the boosts are good. I'm gonna try to get Adidas to sponsor me because I've been selling their shoes for them. Which brings me to a segue. Might as well get paid for what you're doing anyway. So in a business, sometimes you can make money getting sponsors. If you have a lot of people following you, oldest, oldest business model in the book. TV's built around that, you know? People are always like, how do I make money? I'm like, well, I have a friend, he has a whole bunch of Harry Potter fans, like a million Harry Potter fans read his blog. He's just a young guy. I'm like, get sponsors, man. You can also obviously do AdSense, display ads, but cut some deals with people. It's a great way to make money. By the way, how you think Nike made so much money? They got Michael Jordan, they sponsored Michael Jordan. And that was all she wrote. Man, these look like Yeezys. <laughs> Don't you dare. They do, they look like a poor man's Yeezys. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that poor man's Yeezys. So what would you rather do if you was a, someone starting a blog? Would you cash out right away on AdSense or would you uh, be patient, build more eyeballs so you could cash out more in the future? Well, you can do both at the same time. AdSense takes a while to build any revenue. You can make like $4 a month if you don't have much traffic. Direct deals sometimes are better. Talking about Adidas reminds me of how you can make money. You got some eyeballs, get sponsors. That's a great way to make money online or even offline. What are we doing today? We're gonna be doing some shoulders and some arms today. Those of you watching, if you're not in my 67 steps and my daily training videos, you're about to miss out. Train your brain, train your body at the same time. We'll put a link somewhere below if you wanna get access, but it's not enough to just make a lot of money and then get fat. And it's not also not enough to just have a great body and be broke. You want a six pack of your brain and your body. You want a six pack of your bank account, you know, People forget about that six pack because it's proven you won't live a good life if you don't train your brain right. Be smart, no business skills, no life skills. So in that program, we talk about everything you wish you had learned growing up, but we can't vlog. This is a super secret. Members only website you got to get access to.
working on a marketing little mastermind re uh, retreat for 20 people came in from all around the US. So it's my turn to speak. I've had other speakers for the last three hours or more, five hours. It's my turn. talking about MJ and I'm gonna talk about Michael Jordan. You like my Michael Jackson? Is this Michael Jackson-ish? Is this too much? Is this too much? Ah, but it looks good with a Ferrari. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it. Okay, B. We'll just take that. Uh, all right. website right now and you're absolutely sure you would check this out you're an A <laughs> okay who here and I want to double check who here gives their website a 10 like you would stop or your social media you raise your hand James yeah, yeah. It's kinda... okay we have one at we have one to who else eight nine or ten let's just rank it eight, I've, nine, had, ten. I've had other people rate okay. under ten, so. but that doesn't always prove anything because sometimes we're very good at picking People who we know, like you can't believe this. Every girl I've ever dated for a long period of time, like me. See how skewed of a sample well, set? Well, it's an average. <laughs> Every single girl, 100% of girls that I've dated for more than one month found me attractive. Every single one. Let me see all the websites that are eight, nines, and tens. How do we pull them up on here? Uh, I think So let's pull up, we'll just do all of them. In, in order. And I, I hope your guys are eight nine or ten. Remember, I'm on your side. I'm not here to tear anybody down. But I also know somebody asked me my biggest regrets. Who was that? Not having enough real talk when I was growing up. Somebody should look me in the eye at twelve and be like, uh, "You're gonna be broke if you don't learn these things." I wish somebody had looked me in the eye and said, "If you don't read a lot, you're always gonna lose out on big opportunities." Because what you actually hear in the world is, no, trust your heart. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, come on now. <laughs> this is a big boy world. Think. If you're overweight, you think trusting your heart is going to make you skinny? No, it's called a gym and a diet. That's it. You, you can read the secret four trillion times. If you're 200 pounds overweight, there's one way out and one way out only. And it's Yeah, exactly. Diet and exercise. So the reason I'm going to be in a little bit real talk with you guys is because this is something I wish somebody had done with me. And the golden rule says, do unto others what you want people to do to you. And I try to surround myself with people who don't. Like when I was talking to Elon Musk, he kind of blasted me, not in a very nice way, but I call it checkmate. And I'm glad he did it because I've been thinking about that for the last, when did I see it, Elon? Two weeks ago? Last Ten days ago? Last Sunday. And I'm like, this, Elon Musk will talk straight to you. And so will Mark Cuban. They pull no. I'm sure a billionaire, was, in their minds, like, oh, I think I, I'm still a billionaire. <laughs> well, I like being around like people like that. So I'm going to do that to each of you. Let's pull up a few of these sites. We were driving over here. What was the question you asked me driving over here? Oh, what's my goal? What's your dream? My dream. I got the easiest answer. To light 80% of the days of my life. Easy. I, I take life on a day by day or hourly. Did I like the last hour? Nope. Pivot. And the second you let yourself go, like, ah, oh, I didn't like this month, but I'll like next month. Uh-uh. Bad. Dangerous. The cha chains of habit are too weak to be felt until they're too strong to be broken. I optimize every day. Like today, it's a good thing about Snapchat. Start Snapchatting your life, then watch it. If it's boring, Snapchat just told you the truth. Make your life more exciting. I do that all the time. I look at my Snapchat. I'm like, okay, I like that that Snapchat series. I got to do more of that. To be objective is one of the greatest skills in the world, and almost no one has it. 
Nietzsche, the philosopher, said the mind's an impenetrable fortress. You only penetrate it through friends and enemies. I's versus C's. If you look at your bank account, how many I's do you have versus C's? I's are investments that can pay back at a later date. C's are consumption where once you consume, once you spend the money, it's guaranteed to never come back. Don't have a lot of I's, have a lot of C's. I was eating something with refined sugar while you had a lollipop in your mouth. White sugar. We call that hypocrisy. That's white sugar right there. She went like this. She went, um, um, you're eating things with refined sugar. I'm like, you have a lollipop in your mouth. <laughs>